टूडे अवर टॉपिक इज वट ट्रू लव रेली इज वट इज द ट्रू मीनिंग ऑफ लव लव इज कॉल्ड मोहब्बत इन उर्दू लव इज कॉल्ड प्यार इन उर्दू देर इज ए नथिंग इब लव लव इज द सुप्रीम रियलिटी ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स लव इज द सुप्रीम रियलिटी ऑफ गॉड नथिंग कैन बी इबव लव लव इज द स्पिरिट और सोल ऑफ दिस इंटायर ह्यूमैनिटी हाउ डू वी एक्सपीरियंस द अल्टीमेट रियलिटी ऑफ दिस यूनिवर्स हाउ डू वी एक्सपीरियंस लव और मोहब्बत और प्यार ऑब्जर्वेशन इज द फर्स्ट वैल्यू टू एक्सपीरियंस लव वी एक्सपीरियंस लव थ्रू ऑब्जर्वेशन देर इज नो अदर वे टू एक्सपीरियंस लव एक्सेप्ट ऑब्जर्वेशन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू ऑब्जर्व दिस यूनिवर्स आर यूर सेल्फ आर गॉड देन यू नीड पीस ऑफ माइंड एंड कॉलनेस वी कॉन्ट ऑब्जर्व आर सेल्फ क्विकली If you will move fast or think fast, then it is hundred percent guaranteed that you can't experience love. You are not seeing the moon; you are just seeing the reflection of light. But what you say is that you are experiencing the moon. This is not the experience of the moon. This is true. that you are not seeing light where light exist between earth and sun there is light and this light is traveling what is reality reality is we are not seeing light between earth and sun there is a darkness between sun and earth but we are calling this darkness light this means that we are actually watching darkness darkness is the reality of light light is actually darkness the moment when the light and moon clash each other meet each other then what happens that light which was darkness became light moon that was not there now appears this is called mohabbat this is called love this is called pyar we must understand this kind of love but unfortunately we don't understand this kind of love what is the true love what is the true meaning of love there is only you you are that light if light can see this truth then you are love you are the light and you are traveling you are wandering here you are wandering there you are wandering alone we are light but we don't understand that we are light we had light but we did not know that we had a light i am light you are light but we did not know we are light but once i was in front of god but once i am in front of consciousness i become light if there is no god if there is no consciousness then i can't exist if there is no awareness that i can't exist if there is no soul then i can't exist if there is no god then who am i if there is no consciousness then who am i i exist because of god because of consciousness because of awareness god awareness consciousness is one we are because of god there is no lies in this universe all is true because everywhere there is a god there is a consciousness there is awareness and everything is awareness and everything is god togetherness is love when light and moon meet each other then something beautiful happens togetherness creates magic moon and light both are incomplete when they come together then they complete each other 
ह्यूमन बीइंग्स आर इनकम्प्लीट व्हेन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स मीट विद गॉड विद कॉन्शियसनेस विद अवेयरनेस देन ह्यूमन बीइंग्स आर कंप्लीट वी आर कंप्लीट बिकॉज ऑफ अवेयरनेस बिकॉज ऑफ गॉड बिकॉज ऑफ कॉन्शियसनेस बिकॉज ऑफ सोल व्हेन वी see soul when we meet soul when we when we understand soul then we know what we are it means togetherness create love what it means there is only god everything is god everywhere there is god there is only me this is also love we know what a rainbow is we actually don't know what a re- rainbow is but we we claim that we know what rainbow is we just understand the word rainbow we don't know what is the reality of the rainbow we just know this illusion that a rainbow has seven colors where we read this that a rainbow has a seven colors from a book just watch the rainbow just look at the rainbow calmly there is no rainbow there is only light where is the rainbow without light there is no rainbow without light how is a rainbow made that light is you that light is god that light is awareness that light is consciousness that light is awareness that light that light is you and that light is love rainbow is nothing but light this is the right way of love this is the right way of love togetherness is the right perspective of love wrong perspective is hate what is hate when we understand ourselves that we are ego when we understand that we have an ego this is wrong way to understand love we are small inside and selfish because we are moving toward the wrong perspective we just believe separation separation is not love togetherness is love we are not loving each other we hate each other because we believe in the philosophy of separation muslim understands that he is different from christian christian understand the that he is different from hindu hindu understand that he is different from buddhist that's why there is fight everywhere this is crazy love is not commitment love is not attachment love is not separation friendship is not love love is togetherness love is consciousness love is god we are one and nothing else this is called love separation creates hate and confusion ego creates division and that division leads towards hate and war we are just living in the world of words but there is no love we are facing unlimited conflicts because of possessions we are possessing each other that's why there is a jealousy that's why there is a hate we don't need millions of people to experience love we just need one and that one is god and that one is love and that one is god and that one is consciousness if you experience god then you are that light then you are in love then that, then you are that then you are love humanity is one universe is one the light is looking at the rainbow the light is looking different colors of rainbow these are all colors are one whole humanity is me and i am 
entire humanity. This is called love. Colors are different, but light is one. And that light is you. And that light is God. This is love. There is only me everywhere. What is ego? I am different from you. That is ego. I am separate from you. That is ego. I am that light. No, there is no ego. I am you and you are me. Then there is no ego. All the colors belong to God. All the colors belong to consciousness. All the colors belong to awareness. Every color is me. Whatever there is color, wherever there is color, there is God, there is me. What are these colors? What are these colors? All colors are light. And I am that light. And this is love. If you know yourself, then you are in love. If someone wants to know love, then he must discover himself. When you discover yourself, then you see that you are that light. And that light is God. And that light is consciousness. And that light is you. And everything happening in that light. God is the source of everything. You are the source of everything. Rumi is the source of everything. God is the material cause of everything. I am that material cause. I am that material cause of everything. You are the material cause of everything. There is no, there is one material in this universe that exists in everything and that material is you and that material is consciousness and you are that consciousness or light or God. All the bodies are one. All the human bodies are one. I am looking from this body and you are looking from that body. The consciousness from all bodies is one. And that consciousness is God. And that consciousness is you. God is seeing from everywhere. Consciousness or awareness or God is everywhere. And that consciousness or awareness is me. So I am the material cause of this universe. And that awareness is you. You are that awareness. You are that light. You are that. Human bodies can be male and female, but consciousness is one. And that consciousness is love. And that, that consciousness is God. And that consciousness is you and me. And you and me are one. We are not separate from each other. We are just meeting with ourselves. And this meeting our self-realization is called love. There is only me in this universe. There is only you in this universe. There is only you in this universe. There is no me and no you. There is called, this is called the highest love. When there is no me and when there is a no you, then this is called the highest love, which is called ishq, which is called rumi ishq, which is called rumi love. This world is like an ocean. There are billions and billions and billions of waves and bubbles in this ocean. These waves and bubbles are made up of water. Water is the ultimate reality of these bubbles and waves. Like this, God is the ultimate reality of this universe. God is the ultimate reality of this humanity. Consciousness, God or awareness is the ultimate, ultimate reality of this universe. Bubbles and waves are searching each other and understanding each other differently because every bubble and wave have different information in their mind, in their memory. This memory creates separation and hate in humanity. This information which is lying in memory is nothing. This is just an illusion and dream. We can understand and experience love from God. We can't understand 
and experience love from memory or information. We are hurting each other because of this information. Illusions and dreams. This brain is filled with illusions, information and dreams. We can't understand love from these information, illusions and dreams. We don't exist. We don't exist. What exists is God. God is love. God is the real existence. Competitions, comparisons and race create hate because we are just understanding ourselves as separate waves and bubbles. We are unrest, frustrated from outside and inside because we don't know about ourselves. When there is no war inside, when there is no fight in inner world, then you are in love, then you are that light, then you are that God, and that, then you are that consciousness. God is everywhere, you are everywhere. There is no place where there is no God. There is no place where there is no you. You are everywhere. When you became light, then you will love with everyone. When you became awareness, then you will love with everyone. If someone wants to experience love from depth, then God is enough, then awareness is enough, then consciousness is enough, then one is enough, then you are enough because you are everywhere. Through one, you can experience this entire universe. Rumi experienced the entire universe through God and that is love. And that is love. Love you all and thank you so much.